Hello, happy travelers. Welcome back on board the Disney Fantasy. This is day number five of our seven night, very merry time sailing. It's been very and it's been merry. It, yeah. <laughs> and it's been a time. It has been a time and we are having the time of our lives right now because we are in a brand new destination, somewhere we've never been, even though it's an incredibly popular cruising port. Somehow we've never made it here yet. It is St. Thomas. Thomas. U.S. Virgin Island, St. Thomas. And we're gonna do something pretty cool today. I'll show you here. You could start by getting off the cruise ship and making your way through the town square. And then we're gonna hop on these uh, gondola type things and uh, go up the hillside there. All the way to the tippy top, we're gonna have such a good view. We're gonna go to the top of Mount Crumpet to dump it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get it started. Day number five, St. Thomas, Disney Fantasy, Fairy Mary Time Cruise starts. Right now. Alright, the earlier closing time threw us off yesterday, but I think we got it today. Cabanas for breakfast, so fresh fruit bar here. I like the milk and yogurt oatmeal bar, different toppings, and a selection of boxed cereals. Throw some more fresh fruit. Over here we have a bread and pastry section. Wheat bread, bagel, English muffin, white bread, and then croissants, donuts, raspberry and chocolate, and glazed as well. And some muffins too. And there's oatmeal here with brown sugar and grits as well. And we have some bacon, pork sausage, pink style, and some more donuts over here. We have scrambled eggs, ham and cheese scrambled egg, hash browns, we have buttered asparagus, of course, the world famous Mickey waffle, buttermilk pancakes, blueberry pancakes, French toast, sausage egg and cheese slider, grilled tomatoes, and corned beef hash. Wait a tick. Stuck in between the mountains. Is that an Oasis class ship? Methinks it is. Can you tell which one? Uh, too hard to see. I don't clearly see the ultimate abyss, but it doesn't mean it's not there. There's no ultimate abyss. That means it's a lure. That's correct. Hmm. We stopped back in the room real quick to grab something before we disembark to St. Thomas. But I wanted to mention something because it's kind of important. So Disney internet is weird, and I'm pretty sure Matt mentioned this earlier in the cruise. You you don't you can't buy a package where you have unlimited internet. You have to pay by megabyte or by a certain amount of megabyte. And here's the prices. Even if you do purchase the internet, the internet's not that great on Disney. I'm gonna say that. It's it's really slow. You're definitely not gonna be streaming anything. Um, even to send email or or do Instagram or something like that, it's it's really tough and really slow. Yeah. So all that to say, because St. Thomas is a U.S. territory, we have Verizon and it's free for us. It's considered domestic, so it's just part of your regular plan, just like if you went to Puerto Rico. Exactly. So I just wanted to mention, especially since Disney's internet has not been great for us so far in this cruise, and you do have to pay quite a lot for a little. If you're in St. Thomas, that might be your chance to, to use a lot of internet. <laughs> The cool town square has a big Christmas tree. I love it, and look, they have snowflake lights up there. Yeah, a little hard to see them lit up, obviously, with the sunshine, but they're there. So there's the ship. We just got off right there, that ship, and just kind of walked straight, and we don't really know. I mean, we know where we're intending to go, but we don't have a map plan. We're just gonna wander about down the streets and head in that general direction. The big rooster shows us the way. Well, that was pretty easy. There it is, right there. And there's a pirate. There's the ship. So, I mean, literally, just come in and walk down. I think we've only been walking for like three minutes. Yeah. It's leisurely. Like, <laughs> it, it's easy to find it. it, it, it can't right miss there. it. Can't miss it. It's right there. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. We were just saying how this reminds us so much of St. Augustine. It does. And then there's a shipwreck museum. So. It's totally like St. Augustine. It has a lot of the similar kind of styles and tourist stuff. Except the gondola to the top of the mountain. No Other mountain. than St. Augustine. But... No mountains in St. Augustine. And now we learn the official name, St. Thomas Skyride. 
tickets to ride. Did you know there was going to be a special guest here today? No, who is it? So here's our pricing. A little hard to see with the glare, but round trip for an adult, $24.95, child $16.95. You want to add the museum on for a combo, $38.95 for adult, $26.95 for child. So we just purchased our tickets there. Now we have a wristband. And up the stairs, you do have to wear your mask when you go up the stairs, so make sure you got your mask. Let's head up. We just follow the arrows. So they only have so many gondolas, so we do have to wait right now. They do have some chairs you can sit in and wait, and it is covered and in the shade, so that's nice. So the gondolas come in trios, groups of three, I mean all together. You do have to wear your mask inside the gondola as well. You have a friend of Bushwalker? You know what's a Bushwalker? No. It's our, our, our key drink. It's at Paradise Point. Oh, we sold right. one million Bushwalkers. Oh wow. I see. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to point out they don't really stop so you have to be able to kind of step in while it's still moving but this is the coolest thing we showed you all those people waiting yeah they were like pushing and shoving to get in all on because they didn't want to wait any longer uh -huh. we just waited and now we have our own gondola i love it sometimes it helps to wait yes be patient now we begin our ascension Yay! paradise point so it is pretty much open air the part in front and behind is a big solid glass panel as well as on this side but all around the top are vents that are open and then the corners are open even though there's like this metal grating it's open air and then the doors have open air uh, pull down windows there as well so nice breeze coming in terrain seems a bit unstable no kidding it's just a little bumpy there but it's really smooth actually i just felt like saying the toy story line there's the ship disney fantasy oh, look at that oh. what a view oh a holland ship as well look at saint thomas wow that looks awesome We're going up to the tip top this is very reminiscent of like Gatlinburg or yes, something. Yes, totally like that. Like this part, you could totally sell it. Yeah, because it, it just looks like mountains. Yeah. It's like we went to Gatlinburg in the summer, but you turn this way. You turn that way, no, nah, not so much Gatlinburg anymore. I'm glad we docked where we did because we were able just to take the very short walk over to the gondola station. Had we parked with the Oasis class ship is, which looks like a lore. We would have had to have uh, it, taken a cab. It was a lore. I made a friend and talked to somebody, and they said it was a lore. Ah, there you go. Look at that. Wow. And just like that, I'd say about two, two and a half minutes later, I would guess, we're pulling into the station. Paradise Point, we have arrived. Views from the very top. You can't see Tate Thomas from here. This may be our first visit here, but it does not take long to see why this is such a popular destination. This is the most gorgeous view we've ever had of an island. This is, this is insane. Can't get over how good it looks. It looks stunning. It does. Like, I'm so glad we had a pretty day today and we could do this because, man. So there's where the gondola dropped us off, and then we walked down over there to get the view that you just saw a moment ago. Now we've walked over through here, past this way, and out onto this little... Platform yeah, thing. Yeah, platform thing. Kind of just juts out. Get a great view of the gondolas coming up, and the harbor, and everything. Get to see a little bit more of the island from over here, the mountains. Wildlife of St. Thomas. What is that? That definitely doesn't look like a like what we know as a squirrel. No. That almost looks like a little otter. Yeah. Like a it, yeah, it does. It looks so much like a little otter. It does. Home of the world famous Bailey's bushwhacker, but that's not what we're here for. <laughs> it's got everything in the kitchen sink in it. What did you get? I got a lemonade. <laughs> Not as fun sounding as the bushwhacker. Not at all. Strawberry smoothie for me. And for both of us, a delicious view. 
They do also have food here at the Taste at Paradise Point restaurant. And here's a look at what you can get and how much it is. Also worth pointing out that the gondola guy told us that if you buy an excursion with the gondola, you usually only get an hour and a half and then you have to leave. But oh. because we bought our wristbands direct, uh -huh. it's all day until four o'clock, I think. We can go down whenever we want and we can come back up. Yeah, you can do as many rides as you want just before you have to get back on the cruise ship. Ah, we enjoyed our drinks and view. Just sat and relaxed for a while. Looking at this, I do not want to leave this view. But we must. for anyone who might be coming on Allure and other ways to spot ship or any ship that's docked over where you saw Allure and not right here where we're docked. I was talking to someone else who was um, who was on Allure and they said it was about a 20 minute cab ride from over there to this point where the gondolas are. We hadn't been able to show the back of the ship too much yet, but there it is. Disney Fantasy Dumbo's painting it on there for us. And I think the little mouse is on its hat. His name Timothy? Timothy, yeah. They're, they're uh, doing us a paint job there on the back. And it is a party back where we get on the ship. We have Christmas stilt walkers. <laughs> Back on board the fantasy, I guess we're the only ones. <laughs> no one's here. Well, they got on. There's still a couple hours you could be at port, so yeah. we're kind of early. Kinda. People are loving St. Thomas and I can't blame them. No, not at all. But a monumentous occasion lies before us. We have the opportunity to ascend the grand staircase. Often it's closed for pictures or other events, shows, but now it's open. We can go up. The stair- ah! If you're gonna go up it for the first time, you have to skip up. Skip That's up. dangerous. Oh, it's not if you do it with care. Oh, I can't skip. There you go, you demonstrated for everyone. <laughs> Quick stop in the room to change for our next thing, but wanted to point out in the app, Disney Cruise Line mobile app, you can go to the daily activities section here and scan through. If there's something you wanna do, you wanna click this little heart icon when it does that, about 15 minutes before, 20 minutes before, sometimes 30, depending on what the thing is, it will send a notification to your phone that that event is about to start, so you don't forget it. And the really cool thing is, automatically every day, your, so that's the, the thing I just chose, just chose, excuse me, will be under plans, but automatically every day, your dining, like your dinner, and your show, which was right here until I just clicked that other thing, now that's showing instead. There we go. Frozen, a musical spectacular tonight. What? Spoiler alert. But uh, every day, automatically, your show and your dinner time are already hearted and on your itinerary. So you don't forget those. But you can add things and they'll show up in your plans and you can get notified for them. It's time for the next activity. It's time for the next activity. What is it? Swimsuit. GoPro. What else could it be? Chocolate tasting. Kind of. <laughs> we just stepped out on deck. Look who's here. It's Minnie and Daisy out on deck in the beautiful sunshine. 
Looking lovely. Oh, there we go. Style it out. I like it. Rocking it. Rocking it. The camera loves you. Look at that. Okay, it's not a chocolate tasting. It's an aqua tasting. Aqua Duck Part Two. Oh, there we go. That'll be us. Since we already have our bathing suits on, why don't we head on up to the Quiet Cove area, it's the adults only area, and let's go to Satellite Falls Pool. That's still really quick. <laughs> if you're wondering where to get towels, Disney puts their towels like straight on the loungers for you. So whether it's over here in the adult area or it's over at the main pool by the Funnel Vision, you have towels? on the chairs. So this is Satellite Falls. It's an adults only pool area that they built under the satellite dome. There's a nice waterfall in there. It's part of the Quiet Cove area. And you're at the very front of the ship. So you get this fantastic view. And what I really like is that they have the glass partition here to break the wind, but you can go around it and go out in front where those folks are walking right there. And that's completely unobstructed open air right out the front of the ship. making our way to the tube, which is in Europa, the adults section. Although they do have like mixed activities during the day. It's really at night, it's an adult section. What are we doing? I, I feel like we're doing a blast from the past. It's something we haven't done in a very long time. They used to do it at Hollywood Studios, but it has since been removed. We're going to an animation class. Learn to draw someone. We don't know who yet. Got the set up here, the giant easel in the middle. I guess that's where they're going to demonstrate how this is done. We are going to be drawing some characters from Toy Story! We're going to draw one guideline from through the middle, we're just straight down the middle and out the other side. Antennae, so we can do an antennae. So next up, we are going to do our antennae. So we are going to draw on one side of our line, on the other and then put a nice little circle on top. What we're going to do is we're going to pop our pupils in. So just big circles. Buzz! Yay! Yay! Now we don't want Buzz's circle to be taking up the whole page because we are going to add the rest of his face in, which is quite large. Bring the dome down to touch the line we made. Now it's okay if your dome isn't perfect. The ship's weeping, so it's decided it's going to make some noise. In the joints. Yeah, here's a tip for you. The TV back here and the TV back here, right when you come in, Show the drawing as well. Yeah. We could hardly see. Make sure you sit either next to a TV or right in the front row because it was so hard to see. I love yours. Not, not too bad. Alien, Alien and Buzz. Buzz. I couldn't see how to do the nose at all, so I just you, gave him you, a beak. You really couldn't see. You, you, kept, you kept asking me, like, what's going on here? And yours? <laughs> I think you did great. I just kind of started doing my own thing. <laughs> like, I always do this in these classes. I just I start going on my own. Eh, move I think, it, football head. I think. <laughs> and you probably heard it over the camera because it was quite loud with the rumble. But while we were in drawing, the ship pulled out. So we are headed back out to sea. Bye, St. Thomas. Bye, St. Thomas. We will 1,000% be back. Yeah, hopefully soon. Do they? It's gonna get chilly! 
looks like your shirt. Scenes of snow and icicles and snowflakes. Who? Who's good at making icicles? Who makes things chilly? Let's find out. Into the unknown. <laughs> And we cannot film any of the show, but here's what the stage looks like for tonight's production. We are seeing Frozen, by the way. <laughs> if the if the big title there didn't give it away. Let them know, let them know, we're gonna see Frozen. Oh yeah. I hope it's really super awesome. Let the snow rain down. The cold always bothers me, oh well. <laughs> You are like freaking out right now. Just behind this column. <laughs> you can't see anything here. Your favorite princess. Oh my goodness, it's like Minnie. She's adorable. That's amazing. It's really hard to find a dance in there. Rapunzel's looking for Pascal. This is cool, on the stairway tonight they have a photo op with the glass slipper awesome. on a nice little royal pillow there. That was really nice to send her out about his bridal with. <laughs> so, what did you think of Frozen, a musical spectacular? It was really, it was really, really good. It was um, essentially the story of the first movie and yeah. it was very spot on. I would say you could easily make the argument that that was a better show than Aladdin. Although they're both fantastic, and we love Aladdin. Aladdin's our favorite, but that was just really good. The, yeah. It, it, I mean, both shows were so good. I, I think if you're into, like, shows being like the movie, the, the Frozen one was definitely more like the movie than the Aladdin one. It really is royal court tonight. After seeing Anna and Elsa, we now have Mulan, Cinderella, who we haven't seen yet, I don't think, and Tiana. I didn't catch it on camera because I didn't know what was about to happen, but a uh, little girl just came up who was dressed like Tiana, and obviously Cinderella was in the front position. So they did this like coordinated, how would you describe it? Like they, swirling? They spun into different positions, so then Tiana could be the one up front so that Tiana could chat with little Tiana. Yeah, it was, it was really cool. It wasn't just like, oh, let's walk over here. Oh. And also, Tiana is amazing. She, yeah. she just called the three kids that came up little tadpoles. Uh, I love her. The very regal music has started playing, which is appropriate for tonight's dining venue. Live strings in the royal court tonight? We'll take it. That's fantastic. I said live strings when they came in, but those are live ivories that I hear as well. They're not fooling me with this speaker system. <laughs> That's a live performance going on tonight. This is not, this makes me like, like it's like a royal night because the princesses were out and the, the wait staff is dressed in like tuxedos and stuff That's tonight. That's true, and we have like the fancier menu tonight with like lobster tail and stuff. Another carriage of bread. The feature, whoa. <laughs> the feature bread tonight is sourdough with a side of yikes. <laughs> Served with a, I can't even remember now, roasted uh, red pepper me thinks. Roasted red pepper. What's with you? <laughs> Something we haven't talked about yet with dinner service and we totally should have is the pacing is fantastic. It's so good. I feel like an hour and a half Most yeah. Here, but Animator's Palette the other night was an hour flat. And it, it is not rushed at all. No. So familiar or gassy. I'm somewhere in that so. No, that's not that part. <laughs> I just like that part. Prosciutto, and Parmesan, and sun-dried tomatoes. And I have uh, shrimp. I don't remember what the distinction was. It does look like it's no. covered with dill, though, which I don't like. Uh -oh. So, 
soup slash salad is up, except it's double soup tonight. It's double braised oxtail soup. Holy shnikes, this main course. We both got the same thing. Now that's a tail. Lobster tail, huge lobster tail with some asparagus, drawn butter, and lemon pesto mash. Yes, please. Look at that. All right. Wow. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Let's put a bow on it with some dessert. Ooh. Chocolate lava cake. It's so hot. The ice cream's melting. Melting. A nice apple pie. Lamo. <laughs> You've been gifted a jumping mouse napkin. Oh. Every time you touch the tail, it jumped right out of Edwin's hand. I can't do it. I don't know the trick, but like I would touch this down and go, whoop. Yeah. <laughs> And I was gifted something else. You can fly, you can fly, you can fly, you can fly. Back in the room, tonight's tall animal is an elephant. And remember, an elephant never forgets. All right, friends, that's going to do it for day number five. On board the Disney fantasy, we are in love with St. Thomas already. Oh, yeah. I want to be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is another day at sea as we make our way to Castaway Key. Woo! And if you're interested in coming on board the Disney Fantasy or another Disney Cruise Line vessel, we can help make that happen as travel agents. It would be our pleasure. It's completely, completely free to you. So feel free to reach out via that travel agent information in the description of the video. Once again, thanks for joining us today. Hope to see you back tomorrow, day number six, on board the Disney Fantasy. But until then, we're signing off for the night. Happy holidays and happy, happy travels! travels.